Hi guys and welcome to another 10 minute teach with Mr A. In today's lesson we're going to be looking at equivalent fractions and I've got a couple of examples here. So just starting off really simply for us. So here we have a bar that is split into half, a bar that's split into three quarters and a bar that's split into thirds. Now equivalent, the really important thing to remember with equivalent is that it has that word equal in the title as well. So you're looking for a fraction that is equal to another fraction. So let me see what we mean. So if we look at our first diagram here, we've got one half shaded in. So let's write one half. So we've got one half. Now if you look directly below, I've got a bar that is split into quarters or split into four equal pieces. So that is called the denominator. If you're not too sure what that means, then check out my other video on what is a fraction, and then that will give you a really good explanation for it. But as you can see with my half, I have two equal size pieces, so that's what my denominator tells me, and the numerator tells me how many pieces I actually have. Well, let's have a look here. So if I look directly below my half into quarters, it gives me two of those quarters. And you can see that that is absolutely equal if you hold your ruler up to it, which makes it really simple. And it's much easier to draw these kind of bars out on squared paper because you get that real accuracy as well. Because making them equal or equivalent, each piece must be the same size, everything that you're working with. So if we have a look, our half is equivalent to one, two quarters. Well, what's actually happened here? So let's have a look just down below. So we've got our half, which we know up here, and it's become two quarters. Well, what's happened? I've got my two denominators, my two equal pieces have now become four equal pieces. So I've times that my denominator by two. And if you have a look, the exact same thing has happened to my numerator as well. So that one piece has also become two. The fractions are absolutely equal. And if you see on the diagram, it's really clear to see that they take up the exact same amount of space. So let's move on to this one. So now here I've got three quarters filled in. So let's have a look, well, three quarters. So let's have a look at what that means. So I've got my four equal pieces and I've actually got three of them. So my denominator tells me what I've split into and my numerator tells me how many pieces that I actually have. Well, let's grab the old green pen and have a look what happens if I make my bar eighths. Hmm, let's have a look. So the exact same amount of space, and all I've done is doubled my four. So I've doubled the amount of pieces that I've got. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you have a little look down here, the amount of space that my fractions take up are the exact same, they are equal, they're equivalent. So let's see then. So actually, I've split my bar into eight, so my denominator is eight, and how many pieces have I got? Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Well, what's happened here then? Looks like we've got something very similar to what's happened in this example. So let's write it out. So I've got three quarters. This has now become six eighths. So these number of pieces has multiplied by two. And what we do to the denominator, we make sure we do the exact same thing to the numerator. So actually, our three pieces became six. The fractions are absolutely equal. So let's have a little go with some thirds now. So we've got two thirds filled in here. Hmm, so let's have a little look. Now, what would happen if I filled in a few more pieces? Should we give it a go? 
let's see what happens. So I shall make my thirds again. Hmm, how many pieces shall I split this into? Well, I'm going to go four per bar around the end as well. So what has my denominator become now? So I've done four times three, so there should be 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So each third now has four pieces. So my new denominator is 12. So let's shade in our bar so that it looks like we've got the exact same amount. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, we're getting close, seven, and there we are, bang in line, eight. So let's use our pen to make sure that we can really see that quite clearly. Get the lovely ruler out, my trusty ruler. There we are, and we can see really clearly that that takes up the exact same, the equal amount of space. But how many pieces have I actually got? So let's have a look at our numerator. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. So let's set it out like we have done here and see exactly what's happened. So my two thirds has become eight twelfths. And to get twelfths, I've multiplied my three by four. And in order to get eighths, I've multiplied my numerator by four. So I now have an equivalent fraction that you can really clearly see that has happened to become eight twelfths. So eight twelfths is exactly two thirds. And that's a really easy visual way of working out whether a fraction is equivalent to another fraction. So as long as you do the exact same or multiply by the exact same amount to the denominator as you do to the numerator, similarly, you can divide by the same, because if you divided that by two, two quarters, it would become a cup, would become a half. And if you divided 12 by four, or if you divided 12 by two, and you divided the eight by two, you could have four sixths as well. It would be the exact same one. And indeed, you could draw that too. And another thing, when you're drawing these out as well, you must make sure that the pieces don't touch each other, otherwise they become a completely different thing as well. And I always love the old example where, what would you prefer, a quarter of a birthday cake, or would you prefer a quarter of a cupcake? Yes, they are both quarters, however, they're completely different things. So you can't actually compare those two things as well. So they wouldn't be equivalent no matter what you did. So they must be exactly the same. Okay, I really hope that's helped you out at home and just giving you a little visual way of how equivalent fractions work. If you like that video, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, and also give me some recommendations of videos that you would like to see at home. Until next time, guys, class dismissed.